Nick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Siena Saints. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Saints are looking at an uphill climb tonight, Dick. What are the keys to victory for them? Here are my keys for them, Brad. First of all, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Second of all, take away their outside shooters. Force them to put the ball on the floor. Force them to drive, baby. Lastly, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Pump fakes. With a little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. the outside the center handles it and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot shows patience waiting for the reset inside in the paint thinks about the shot great pressure great double team really explosive fed the low block Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Trying to pack it inside. Tries for two. He nails the shot. <laughs> on the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Here's another look at the play. Number 34 is fired up and ready to go. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the baseline. Way off target. The point guard receives the ball. Inside, number 30 handles the feed. Double team now, Matt Angle. Shoots it off the rim and no good. Number 21 receives the pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Saints have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And off the mark. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Pull up jumper from way out, way off target. The whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He uses the shot fake. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him to the spot, Mr. Nestler. Yeah, 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He'll regroup the offense. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. He takes a three. Drains the shot. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. For the bucket, they still don't score. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. He goes with a baby hook, and in and out. Both teams looking to get things going here. Gave it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. With a little baby hook. Can't get the shot to drop and the slam. Working it around the perimeter, way out on top, controlling the ball, doesn't go. Number 34 with the fake. Goes up for two and off the mark. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes a jumper for three. It's good. That's a seven-zip run. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Pro Hop draws the foul. Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. Number 11 to the charity strike. Routine. That's a 10 zip run. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Up and inside. Number 23 steals the ball. Up and inside. Boy. Terrible execution on offense. They work the perimeter. 
He takes the shot off the baseline. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. For the bucket, and in and out. Number 30 draws the personal. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. All right, thanks, Aaron. Both free throws go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, off. and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Number 24 makes a great move to draw the foul. He goes to the line for the first time. No good. Misses. Nice rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. The Aggies have a player spotting up on the three. For two, perfectly executed. Definitely worth another look, Brad. They should have got it through about a second earlier. That's basic. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Rebound coming the other way. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Number 24, they spent right now emotionally, Dick. Hey, well, offensively, he's probably not feeling it. Defensively, he's been a step behind. He's going to have to turn things around. On the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. From beyond the arc. Off the rim and no good. Going to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Gave it up. He puts it up. Way off target. He shoots from the top of the circle. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. But working around the arc. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> for the bucket. And he missed. 
Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Dump it inside. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Fires it down. Open guy in the post and went the other way. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. From right of the circle. Sinks it. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. Tries to get the D to bite. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D, I love it. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential to the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Look at that spacing. On the outside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Jumps in. Nice shot. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. It to go. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Leans in. He gets it to fall. Entry pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Looking for contact. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Up fake. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. 
that and momentary look from three-point land. Basket falls despite the contact. They work it around the arc. Puts it up looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. There's the fake. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He shoots from left of the circle. The Aggies to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He blocks the shot. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. And he'll kick it back outside. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Takes the pass in the paint. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Takes the shot. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Looking for a good shot. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a double team waiting there. There he is. Puts the ball loose. He puts it up at the horn. He misses badly on that three-point attempt. At halftime, the Aggies lead by six. Dick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Sienna has struggled to control the boards in that first half, Dick. They're not playing with the same intensity and passion that I've grown accustomed to seeing. The coaching staff must be a wee bit worried about what is going on with their squad. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The center gets the pass. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Look at that spacing. 
Got the high pick. Rims out. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Transition opportunity coming up. Set that screen away. From right in the circle, way off target. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The center with the ball for the bucket. Easy one. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. The power forward gets the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. For two, the land. Hey, don't let these guys get in too much of a rhythm. Can they regroup in time, you think? Let's see what happens. Got it down to the low block. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Makes his second shot. what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He unloads off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. The point guard takes the pass. He takes the three. And Dick, no one can really find the touch from beyond the arc. Hey, this is one of those nights that no matter how open you are, you just can't put it in, baby. Count that as a personal foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Great defense. He saw that developing. He was right there when the ball left his hand. On the dribble, gives it up. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Two. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Time to pick up the defense here now. For the bucket. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. The power forward takes the feed. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charm. The Saints are trailing by 10. 
pushing that basketball. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for a nice deuce. On the outside. Picked out of the air. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Entry pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Trying to draw the foul. Perfectly executed. They move it into the front court. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Look out, defender is smacked by that screen. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picked off. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They get out on the break. It's stolen. For two, off the rim and no good. Basic. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play out there in the front. Pass on the post. Turn around jumper. How about a replay, boys? Got the shot if he wants it. With 
with a deep shot from outside. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court. Did. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He draws a foul. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet jug. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that taunting, though. With the freebie. Sinks it. That's a nine-zip run. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on that talented guards right there. Yeah, that helps. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He intercepts it. Momentary look from three-point land. Gave it up. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. They let him get into a rhythm. The pressure that basketball help one another. And it's blocked. And the ball goes out of play. Watch out, Nick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. The Saints' composure just took a big hit. Frustrated, Brad? That may be an understatement. It'll be interesting to see how they manage this situation. Double team now, bad angle. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big. That really it's tough to deny him the ball. They'll work it around the arc. Number 20. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. At the free throw line. Opportunity. Makes it. Gives it up. He shoots from long range. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, right? Very important. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Rims out. Dick, you got to love tournament games like this. Great first half. Second half's been more of the same. And I don't know. What do you think? Uh, the favorite? Can he pull it out or not? Well, I really believe that, too. I agree with you, Brad. I think the last few possessions are going to dictate who moves on, survives, advances, and who goes home. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. He's open if he wants the shot. And now they'll bring it up. Foul charge. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They will line him up. He makes the first shot. Got it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to. With the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Texas A&M have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Strokes it. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. And he'll kick it back outside. Shoots from outside. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The dribble gives it up. There's the trap. Stolen ball. Too physical. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses the front end of the one and one. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Kicks it out. The ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the post up high. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Goes up for two. Rims out. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. They're working around the perimeter. From the top of the key. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Shoots it. Drains the shot. <laughs> Takes it. 
takes the shot. He's money with a shot. He's just trying to get under his skin now. Brad, I think he's just trying to get under his skin. Great play to take that to the basket. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picks off the lazy pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. He lets it go. He nails the shot. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a done deal. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. They still don't score. And he scores despite the hat. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Picks off the pass. On the top of the circle. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. a three. Rims out. I'm going to get a baby. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. The Saint. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big plus. He was there when he needed them, baby. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. He goes to the line, shooting one. Up and in. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten seconds, showing on the shot clock. Stolen. Shot clock is dead. He fires from long range. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. On the outside. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, and we look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Aggies came, they saw, and they conquered their first-round foe, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shift into gear for that second-round matchup. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.